What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Have you ever gone to a location as a photographer, thought it looked cool, didn't really ask questions, shot there, ran away and got away with it? Well, that's how I've always lived my photography life and I'm starting to change my mind about it. Let's talk about it now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing. If this video helps you in any way, give it a thumbs up and then click that bell for notifications. It just tells you every time I come on. Guys, this video is very simple. I have always lived with the mentality of ask for forgiveness instead of permission, meaning that if I go to a location or I do something as a photographer, it's always better to say you're sorry rather than can I do this and them saying no. Now, of course I go with this mentality because sometimes there's a really cool location, maybe it's a barn or a creek or something where I have to cross uh, an area that I really wanna photograph at and I'm worried that if I do ask somebody, they're gonna say no. So instead, I've somehow ingrained in my head that I can just illegally go wherever I want, shoot, and if I get caught, then I'm so sorry, oh my God, I'm leaving right now, please, la 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 la. Not only now am I realizing that's very, very unprofessional with my clients, it's causing a lot of other photographers to do what I'm doing and in turn giving us a bad name. Now this is from a recent conversation I've had with some property owners uh, at a business I was photographing and what happens is they've had to actually add security to their location because so many photographers we're just showing up in the middle of the night, shooting their location, drinking, smoking, breaking stuff, breaking a lamp, breaking a light. And it was just getting really, really bad. It's those photographers that are kind of killing it for us. Now, I, of course, I promise you, I've never done that. Anytime I go somewhere, I pack in, pack out. It's kind of my thing. Um, I, I don't like leaving dirt. I don't like leaving trails of where I've been. And I'm very respectful. That's me though, that's, that's Jeremy. But there's a lot of people that are douches and assholes who will go in and mess up something, tag, graffiti, do whatever they have to do to show that they were there. And I don't understand it. And that's kind of what's killing it. So if I owned a property, I yes, I would do the exact same thing. No photographers on site. Not because I don't think that you can't create amazing work. I don't think the location's amazing, but your friends have ruined it for us. There was an amazing location we had here before, American Flats, out in Virginia City, and it's since been torn down, but it was always a photographer haven. But the thing that made that so cool, weirdly enough, was that it was just a mess. It was graffiti, there was pee, there was poo, there was bottles, there was cigarettes, there was needles, there was a bunch of stuff there, but that was a place for it. And it's been torn down since then, you can't go over there anymore. But is that what it has to be become for us to get excited about shooting at this location? I want to know your guys' thoughts. Do you guys do what I do? Ask for forgiveness instead of permission? Do you guys just go to a location? Or do you take that extra step to call uh, to find out who owns the place and then go in and actually use that location? That's what you should do. Do you do it? I will tell you, I do not do, I do not call anybody. I go and if I see a no trespassing sign, I leave. I don't take the time to do that. I have permits where I need to shoot uh, within Lake Tahoe, Reno. I have my permits that I use, but that's just common sense at this point. But let's get this conversation going. Do you trespass? Let me know. Thanks so much for tuning in. Ah, we'll talk to you later. Bye.